talking of headbanging OAPs, oh, this is so good. There's a new band that's storming up the charts. Uh, they've got an album out and everything. Uh, they're called The Zimmers. Uh, they've got a single out uh, next Monday, Monday the 28th of May. Now, apparently, uh, the band has a combined age of 3,000. <laughs> Thousands. That's just slightly less than the Rolling Stones. Um, <laughs> and I'm very pleased to say the Zimmers are with us tonight. They'll be performing Ooh. a song at the end of the show, so we can just go backstage to the dressing room to say hello. There they are. Hello, Zimmers. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Loads of you. So you're going? Uh, are you going on a tour next year? Is this right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, uh, like, and when you're in hotel rooms and things, have you ever kind of, you know, broken anything in a hotel room? I mean, I don't mean a limb or a hip or anything. But... Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Have you got a bit of rock and roll? Love a smash up. <laughs> you're, you're trouble. Yeah. Uh, what, what... All right, what, what's the name? What's, what's your name, the lady in the kind of purpley lilac y top? <laughs> what's your name? Grace. Grace. All right, Grace. Listen, do you want to have a go at, at smashing up your dressing room a bit there for us now? Where do you want, where do you want me to smash up? Smash whatever you like, love. <laughs> Yay! Go, Grace! <laughs> This is the woman with the stick yeah, in, the green, <laughs> in the green tartan. She wasn't liking it no. at all. <laughs> Her and Grace, they don't get on. <laughs> that bitch is out of the band. Is that the Grace or me? <laughs> From the Zimmers, uh, at the end of uh, the show, they're going to play us out. Very exciting. <laughs> now, uh, the big thing, uh, everyone else will be talking to you about it, Rupert, and I will join that band. Uh, Shrek the Third. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, you're Prince Charming again. Yes, I am. Have you seen it? Yes, it's fantastic. It, it came out last weekend in America, and it comes out here uh, in a couple of weeks' time. And it's fantastic, yeah. It's and is it as funny as two? Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's really, really funny. It's lovely, Shrek 3. Uh, it's, it, some, some of it's kind of um, more serious in a way. It's about an insurgency uh, in the kingdom, and it's about terrorism and things like that in a way, but it's really funny. It's very charming. It's great. All right, because uh, I thought two was better than one. Is that... And I think three is better than two. Ah! Oh. <laughs> bit up in the ante. Oh, yes. And I, is that the only uh, animated thing you've done well no I have done a couple of I did I did one other thing but Shrek is a fantastic job because um, you don't have to um, it takes about ten mornings a year uh, over a five-year period and you can do it anywhere you want in the world and um, and uh, you know they're quite generous as well so it's, it's a fantastic job <laughs> I hear you uh, do you see it or do you just you just go in and read some stuff no they do the vocal track first and then they uh, animate to the vocal track because you've done loads of them. You've done, what, you were in Babe, you were the mother in Babe, the dog mother. I was in Happy Feet. Who were you in Happy I Feet? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> was I Tamara? Did you play a penguin? I don't know. I never saw it, you see. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was all, everyone was a penguin. Every, everybody everyone was a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't do much research for your character. No, I didn't. You, you forgot to sound cold. Yeah. Did you tell me that? When I was... <laughs> you thought all that flapping was psychological. Yeah. And I did Flushed Away. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Flushed Were you in Flushed Away? away? 
I was. Okay. I don't no. know what I was in there. That was great yesterday. A piece of shit, I should think. <laughs> Talking of that, talking of that, tell uh, us <laughs> the story about uh, when you, were, uh, you went to Martin Jarvis's house. Oh, it's house. so embarrassing. I, I hope this is not going to offend people. Actually, I hope it is, but, <laughs> but um, I, I know it sounds as if I just talk about nothing but shit, but I was dying to go to the lavatory. <laughs> and I was, I was invited to uh, an, a lovely dinner party in Los Angeles, and it was Martin Jarvis, who's a dear friend and his wife, the hosts and um, Richard Harris's son Jared was there, whom I've not met before, and, and was rather keen. Nice. And he's lovely, and I was very excited about that. And so, you know, when I arrived, I said to Roz, uh, Martin's wife, Roz, I'm dying to go to the lavatory. Can I go first, you know, and, and then <laughs> I'll join the group, so to speak? So I flew into the loo, and I had this enormous shit, you know. <laughs> and, um, You know, then I flushed the loo and washed my hands, and it didn't go down. <laughs> it didn't go down. It wasn't going down. And, and then I made this terrible mistake. I flushed the loo again. And it not only didn't go down, it sort of bubbled up to meet me. You know. <laughs> It was just, it was a horrific, I mean, it didn't, what I was afraid of was that it would surge over the bowl. And, you know. And surge <laughs> away. <laughs> Here's but, him now. <laughs> so, but the thing is, I'm such a coward, I didn't know what to do, so I backed out of the loo, closed the door, and I went in, and instead of saying, you know, how do you do, it's lovely to meet you, I've always wanted to meet you, and all that sort of thing, I said, I've block the loo with my shit and I don't know what to do. <laughs> that was my introduction to Garrett. That, so, Julian, we were talking about it earlier, mm. uh, the movie, but in terms of the dressing up, because in your book you talk about how there was a little bit of cross training in your early years. Mm. Then it uh, stopped. Then it stopped, and now it started again. And now I think I probably, you know, I'll be the next Danny DeRue show probably next. I'll be <laughs> having a TV show with squeaky tits. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's it's uh, it's been fun. It's the breasts are very heavy. I have two seven-pound breasts, they and I must heavy, say, actually. and even court shoes. Uh, you know, you've got your, everything goes wrong in your back, and I and my back. I put my back completely out. But you're in high heels most of the time. Well, sensible heels. A Camilla heel. <laughs> sensible heels. Yes. But I got marvelous breasts. They 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 uh, they, ha they they hide under my arms very nicely, <laughs> and they're very low and marvelous. They're, they're beautiful. <laughs> it's a hidden world to me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, but going back, because you you saw Mary Poppins when you were little. Yes. But then you didn't dress up as Mary Poppins. I dressed up as her daughter. But, that you believe she had? No, I believed I was. Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought, after I saw Mary Poppins, I thought I was Julie Andrews' daughter. Ah. <laughs> it's not so easy. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you stop doing that? Oh, uh, well, no, quite soon. I, I had to go away to school. When I, I going, leaving for school, I had all these little grey shorts with my name and tag in and little grey... Um, socks and shirts and stuff like that and I saw them all there and I got the skirt out, my Mary Poppins skirt, which is one of my mum's old tweed skirts and I started folding it and putting it into the suitcase <laughs> and they said, I don't think you'll be needing that there and I said, hmm. well I thought I'd let it pass this time because I quite like my new suitcase, I said, okay, and I packed everything else and that's when it stopped. <laughs> did, did somebody come in and try to teach you how to walk in the heels well, and do all that stuff? When you act as a character it kind of takes off really on its own if you get it right and if you've got a great you know um, I have great directors and the costume designer we all work together on the look of the thing and then suddenly when you see it in the mirror it's almost like a it, not to sound methody it's like a possession it's just there you can do it and uh, she's my character she's quite a kind of she's a stocky 
upper class empire ruler woman. She's not um, kind of um, mincing like that very much. She's she's quite masculine in a way. So um, it just it, it's acting comes. I think when it's best, it comes effortlessly. Okay. Well, we're wondering how easy how easy is it to walk the walk as a woman. Now what we do is we've put some people in high heels and evening dresses, but uh, we've covered their top half in a sack. Yes, a sack. We thought it through. Uh, and what we're going to see if we can guess whether it's a woman or not, right? Just from the walk in the shoes, is it a man or a woman? So let's meet Miss Graham Norton. Here comes the first one. What do we think of this, Miss Graham Norton? Man. <laughs> I, was, I thought man as well. I thought man. It's a nice leg, but there was Huge some... Huge hand. There, there was... <laughs> 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 All right, reveal yourself, contestant number one. What have we got? We've got a man! Well done. OK, off you go. All right, next one, please. <laughs> There you go. Now, that's a man who I think likes it too much. <laughs> that's a man who's not doing it for the first time. Let's, let's see if we're right. Is it a man? Is it? Let's see. It's a man! <laughs> <laughs> In Bangkok, there's a show, and they're one member down. Uh, okay, let's see the next one, please. Oh, beautiful. Choose to walk in. Oh, really hard choose. Are we saying it's a man? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's see. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a oh, woman. Oh, my goodness. 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 Your hair. It's my hair. Oh, okay, great. You like? It's it's very nice. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Uh, th th thank you all to the Miss Graham Nortons. Well done. Yeah. Uh, that is nearly it for tonight. Please thank my guests, Rupert Everett and Mary Margulies. <laughs> Go to our website now where you can find all the latest news about the show and also watch the video podcast of our cool down, which we're about to do in a moment. But now, to play us out with their single, My Generation, it is The Zimmers! I'll see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Talking about my generation Don't try to take one
Scary Grace, well done you. Hello. Hello. You, oh, that was bad. Are you all right now? Have you recovered? Yes. You didn't seem filled with Grace. No, she had the amp in me. What? She had the amp in me because I smashed the telly out. Yeah, well, I know, because you didn't see it coming. You know, and that was a nice telly in a broken way. So, you're all right there, Alf. Yes. All right. <laughs> so, now, you're going on tour next next year? Well, we hope so, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Now, what, and this all came about for the, the Power to the People documentary on BBC Two? Mainly, yes. Yeah. Well, did you all know each other before? No. Nope. Oh, right. No. So, but are you from, all from the same place? No. 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 All right. But now, clearly, you all do know each we other. All, all, yes, we all know each other now, yeah. All right. And is this everyone in the band, or is this everyone who is free to come tonight? This is... Uh, there's a few more yet. There's a few more as well. Yeah, a few more yet, yes. Yeah. Daddy, yeah. Daddy. Oh, were you in there too? Yes, she was in there too. All right. Yes. Why, why are you not here tonight? She didn't feel like it. Either. You just didn't feel like it. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but there is this could be quite a there's tour. A, there's about. <laughs> Sorry, no one felt like it. Uh... <laughs> there's about 40 people actually. Oh, 40? About 40, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. And do you sing all the songs or does everyone get a go? No, well, at the moment, this is the first one we've actually sung so far. Oh, right. And I thought I've there was played... an album, no. There's, there's, there's going to be an album. Oh, yes. There's going to be. Yes, there's OK, yeah, be. fingers crossed for an album. That's right, yes. All right. Laugh. Now, uh, Alf, I don't know if you're doing this. I know... Uh, we, who are the six people that we've uh, uh, chosen? Winnie. OK, Winnie's, Winnie, is that yours? Hello. Hello, Winnie. Yeah. Is that yours? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. OK, you come oh, with me, I Winnie. Yeah. yeah okay. need she needs it. She oh, yes, no, I won't. I'm not going to take it. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, very nice to see you, Winnie. <laughs> now, I, I heard that you sometimes were a naughty little boy. I am so long, Winnie. Uh, sometimes. Right, now, Winnie, we need to get over there. Uh, now, are you going to give me a hand? I am, of course. Oh, Here we go. All right, Winnie, you oh. come with me. By the way, this is the cool down bit of the program. Yes. I, uh, think I, I think I can come with a little you're right. help. All right. Yeah, there you go. All right, now, do you know where you're sitting? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do? OK, so you yeah. fire ahead. Now, what this is, this is a game of higher or lower, OK? <laughs> where we're sorting this end. Now, what's your name, sir? Peter. This is Peter. OK, now, uh, so what do, we, do, do we guess Peter's age or do we get given Peter's age? Okay, so we'll guess Peter's age. Uh, now, uh, well, I don't know. I, you're in your 70s. Are you in, in your 70s? 70s, yes. You're in your 70s. 72. 72? 72. Miriam? 76, I think. 79. 79! Wow! Whoa! Just... Just shy of the AC welder. So we have 79 now. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Uh, higher or lower? <laughs> lower. Lower. Uh, don't be ho higher. <laughs> I, I was saying, we're saying lower, aren't we? Lower. 62. Lower. 62. How old? 85. That's amazing. Peter, you look awful. <laughs> 85, you must must be lower than 85. Yeah. What's your name, Frank. Frank? Yeah. 
Frank, I'd say Frank's lower. Yeah. Yeah. Lower than Avar. Lower. What do we say? 72. 72. Yeah. We have a lower 72. All right. Next we have Captain Tate. Uh, this is Grace. Uh, Grace, I think you've, you've overdosed on the synatogen. Uh, <laughs> you, you just OD'd on it. Uh, all right, what are we saying? Higher or lower? Higher. We're saying higher? Higher. OK, Grace? 83. 83. Now, ooh, Alf is going to confuse us, I think. Oh, yeah. Higher or lower than 83? What is it, lower? The same. Oh, 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 you've played this game before. <laughs> uh, so, uh, that's quite clever. Should we say the same? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think, guys? Should we, say, should we do a stick? Should we do the same, or should we do higher or lower? The same. Oh, the same. Or lower. Lower? Lower. lower. Let's lower. find out. Lower. Al? 90. Yay! Oh, it's amazing. Unbelievable. Uh, this is like an episode of Doctor Who. <laughs> Okay, uh, we have a 90. I've got you're incredible. And, uh, next, and what was it? Was it Winifred or That's Winnie? Win or Winnie? Or Winnie. Winifred. We'll go with Winnie. Yes. Okay, so why are you? You're 90. Yeah. All right. So uh, higher or lower than 90? I don't think they mean anything by it, Winnie, but they've gone with higher. It's <laughs> <laughs> not very nice. Uh, so, uh, how old? 99. The show is The Great Granny Chart Invasion, isn't that right? The Great Granny Chart Invasion, and it's Monday, 9 o'clock on BBC Two. That's it for our cool down. Ladies and gentlemen, The Zimmers, Miriam Margulies, and Rupert Everett. We'll see you again.